In the episode number 103 of the ACP Tech News, we talk about the latest NVIDIA graphics card drivers, the latest AMD graphics card driver, the latest Intel Arc graphics card drivers and Biostar releasing a new high-end Z790 motherboard. We start with NVIDIA and their latest graphics card drivers, now at version 5.26.47. This driver brings out optimizations and support for four video games, Sackboy A Big Adventure, Victoria 3, WRC Generation and functionality support for DLSS 3 in Formula 1 2022. In terms of fixed issues, there are some. In Cyberpunk 2077, the in-game map might display corruptions. On the Dell XPS 9560, the system may crash or reboot when using desktop applications. On the RTX 30 series graphics cards, lower performance can be experienced in Minecraft Java Edition. With Samsung Odyssey Arc monitors, the 165Hz refresh rate option is not available. While using two or more monitors, the GeForce Experience Shadow Play and game stream may select the wrong monitor for its output, and video playback in Microsoft Edge may appear green if NVIDIA image scaling is enabled upon resuming from hibernation or boot with fast boot. And that's about it for fixed issues. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for the known issues, which is a long list too long for this video. As always, I've already installed this driver on my system and everything is normal. So far. Next, AMD has released their graphics card driver, now at version 22.10.3. This driver is a beta release and brings out support and optimizations for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, as well as support for radiant boost with variable rate shading in Dying Light 2. In terms of fixed issues, this release fixes only three issues. In Elite Dangerous, a crash upon launch may happen while using the Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards. Black screens may occur during driver upgrades or setting resets using Microsoft Windows 11 version 22H2 on Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards. Lower than expected performance on Gotham Knights using AMD processors on some AMD graphics products such as the RX 6950 XT graphics cards. And just like the Nvidia graphics card drivers, there are plenty of known issues with this release. And all we can hope is that those will get fixed in a later release. We continue with Intel and their latest graphics card driver, the ARC 101.3793. It is a beta release driver, which is made exclusively for the desktop Intel Arc graphics cards and not the integrated graphics card models. This driver adds optimizations for three video games, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition and Victoria 3. In terms of fixed issues, this driver fixes a lot, mostly with video game crashing and VRAM frequency on some Arc graphics cards. However, when we talk about the known issues left unresolved, well, this is a big list, just like the list from the NVIDIA driver, only bigger. This includes, but is not limited to, graphic corruption in video games with both DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 and lower than expected performance. Only time will tell how these issues will be addressed in further releases. And finally, Biostar launches the Z790 Valkyrie motherboard. The Valkyrie motherboard series is the high-end segment from Biostar. These motherboards have a unique design and are packed with high-end components. And the Z790 Valkyrie is no different. The VRM system is cooled by large metal heatsinks and, as is the case these days, there's plenty of RGB present on the IO cover and the chipset heatsink. Unfortunately, for some reason, the VRM layout is not mentioned anywhere, thus we do not know for sure how many phases the motherboard has. The motherboard features PCIe 5.0 slots and PCIe 5.0 M.2 sockets as well as DDR5 RAM slots. Other features include the Realtek ALC1220 audio codec and the new Intel i226V internet controller. The pricing is not yet known, but if this motherboard will be as good as the previous models in the Valkyrie series, then the Z790 motherboard lineout just got one more option. And this is the end of the episode number 103 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.